Hey y'all, it's Lauren Kennedy and we're back with another week of Transparency Thursdays, y'all. Today, I have me a little drink. You might think it's tea or coffee in here but it's really juice so but today's video if you are new here transparency thursdays are just me kind of ranting for about 15 minutes or so just about like what's going on in my life and just kind of having a sit down conversation with y'all where i release this is a safe space um, just to kind of talk about things that I've been going through and maybe some of these things that you guys can relate to. And I think I wanted to do this raw and unedited. I've said this before just because like a lot of things that we see on the media, it's fake, it's edited. And coming from a 21 year old, it's kind of rare that we actually have like face to face things that are edited and things that are truthful so i was like some weeks i might be doing great some weeks i might be down in the dumps and it's also for me to like track my experience through grad school again if you are new here i am about to start my phd program um in the biological and biomedical sciences and it's kind of heavy and lengthy it's a five to seven year program and um yeah y'all i just i just kind of wanted to come here and share my experience and my journey but today what i wanted to talk about let me get some of this this juice is my first almost month now adulting and y'all adulting is ghetto that is my conclusion. It's ghetto. And living on my own, I would say like, oop, something is in my eye, y'all. Okay. Um, living alone, like I realized how much you have to really do on your own. Like, okay, it's different, you know, living with like a roommate or something, but y'all, I have to take the trash out my own i gotta deal with bugs spiders on my own like that is not fun so i literally have to do everything and that's fine because i'm actually really really independent like i really don't like asking people for help unless i absolutely have to ask them for help um it's different academically i'll ask a million questions and will not care but i guess like me by myself like living i'm highly independent and sometimes it might be an ego thing but i hate asking people for help so um it's not really an adjustment but you realize how much other people pitch in to helping around like a house when you live with other people and it's different when you live on your own so the first like week or so when I was like dealing with bugs, y'all, I had spiders. The other week I had to kill a spider, bruh. And like, that's, that's just something I never thought I'd, I'd have to do. But also even like being responsible for taking out the trash or even like I have a two bedroom apartment because um, of just like difficulties with leasing and stuff. But I was blessed with a two bedroom, but even like cleaning up, cleaning up another bedroom like not only do I have to clean up like the living room but I also have to clean up like my bedroom other bedrooms bathrooms etc like I'm just it's just it's baffling to me it's a lot to keep up with and it's also very humbling um it's not for the weak and I really respect adults that have to pay bills and pay for stuff I've also realized how much stuff costs on its own like trash bags, seasonings, cleaning supplies, what's, what's everyday stuff, toilet paper, paper towels. When I came back, I was asking my mom if I could have some toilet paper and paper towels because y'all, it's real out here. It's, it's real out here. Um, 
I'm gonna sip some juice to that because that's some real life stuff. So, um, yeah, it's just like, it's just kind of gaining a new understanding and a perspective of how life really is outside of college. And I don't think people, I think people talk about it, but it's like, I don't think it really hits you until you're actually in that position. But with this newfound independence, I've started doing things for myself that I never thought that I would have done before. Y'all, this past weekend, I went to church and it was a different experience for me. I haven't been a part of a church community in years, whether that's because of sports or being in college. Um, oh my gosh, something is in my eye. I'm so sorry. Or like being in college. Um, I never really found like a church community that I could really feel at home. And I'm really big on being in spaces where I don't feel like I'm just a number. And this church, it was really cool. Um, I say that like, you know, <laughs> I don't mean like cool, but it was a, it was a great experience. Like, um, for me, the only thing, like, I don't think the praise and worship really hit me as hard. Maybe I just caught them on a week when it wasn't necessarily songs that I knew. And maybe I was also a little bit further in the back and I didn't really feel it as much, but the message, it was like, it was right on time. Like, you know, like when you feel like you need to hear something, it was just kind of like, damn, God sent me here for a reason. And I'm trying to um, become more rooted in my faith and just, I don't know, like get closer to God, especially living on my own. And I know like going through grad school, it's going to be a lot of shifts in my life. I want to be rooted in something. And that's something that I want to be rooted in is my faith and having uh, faith in God that everything is going to work out and I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. So going to church, it was just like, dang, back home, I never really took the time out to really do stuff like that for myself. And when I went, I went by myself. Like I didn't have anybody with me. I literally went and normally in times like that, I get a lot of social anxiety when I have to be around a lot of people at once and you know, talk and things like that can get overwhelming for a lot of people. I'm sure that you guys might have, I don't know, encountered something like that or some of you guys out there might uh, have some sort of social anxiety, but I literally like went by myself and um it was just like a different experience i think when you experience things on your own and you have a lot more gratitude for it and um i'll definitely be going back this sunday and sundays to follow even if this isn't my church community and i end up maybe joining another church um i just think like having that uh time to release on sundays and i even want to start doing bible study um where i'm not just only uh i would say act like learning the word on sundays but also you know taking that time out the week to really just like stay rooted in my faith and stuff so um i think it was a it was a really good experience i want to become a woman of god and uh, i've just been seeing a lot of that on like my social media too and i i think it's time for a shift because as you guys may or may not know, I struggle with anxiety and I think it's something deeper than that. Like, yes, like my mentality, but I also don't have anything to ground me. And I think that's something that I really need. So um, I'm definitely looking forward to that journey. And I was about to say something else. Oh, yeah along with that i started tapping back into my creative side slowly but surely like um i have so many ideas of who i want to be and where i want to go and who i want to become i started tapping back into like what can i do to change the game like change science and i feel like i've already accomplished so much and there are so many things that I've already changed in dynamics. I just, I feel like I have 
another purpose especially like with my creative side and you know me being a scientist i just feel like there's something else i have to tap into so with that i decided to dedicate at least an hour and 30 minutes of my time before i go to bed to just kind of indulge in that creative side and you know like whether it's writing or planning or just getting my ideas out there just to get creative juices flowing so i'm going to dedicate that time to myself and also um y'all cooking i started cooking for myself nobody talks about how much food there is when you make like one pack of meat and how much food you have left over like i've been eating leftovers for like three four days y'all i made something sunday and i just stopped eating on it wednesday yesterday like that's crazy that's crazy right so here i am like cooking something and then like i really don't care for leftovers but i'm eating leftovers i'm i'm getting my money's worth so yeah that's that's something and i'm also trying to become more disciplined i have tried and attempted to start going to the gym at maybe five in the morning just to create better habits and i realize i'm not disciplined when it comes to waking up in the morning i need all my hours of sleep y'all but i also realized i've created a bad habit of going to sleep late so where i can't wake up early so i've been trying to train my body to go to sleep at i don't know nine ten o'clock so i can wake up at five six go to the gym i really need to be at the gym by five if i'm going to make it to the lab from at nine o'clock so i need that two hours to be in the gym decompress i'd be getting my little full body massages at planet fitness and on the hydro massage machine if y'all know y'all know so i need my little two hours to be in the gym i need time to come back and take a shower eat breakfast and then be on my way also take into consideration time to travel and things like that maybe not even two hours every day maybe an hour and 30 minutes i need to get on my zoom i need to i need to you know <laughs> i need to move a little bit faster so maybe just enough time to get that and have a productive morning so then in the evening i can dedicate a lot more time to myself but i also want to be conscious of the fact that i don't want to tire myself out or run myself like just to give myself more grace that's something that i also have to be diligent about um and i think everybody can do better at that just kind of not being too hard on yourself and giving yourself time to breathe time to rest um but also pouring back into yourself i feel like me going to the gym and showing up for myself is a form of self-care a form of love and you know appreciation so yeah i think that's definitely something that i i have to look forward to as far as my apartment y'all it's been rocky it's been up and down like um i still have to get my keys from my mailbox i have still yet to get that I, I didn't realize how like apartment living is and it's definitely different than like of course living with your parents or living in a college dorm like you have to do everything for yourself you have to advocate for yourself speak up for yourself it's just a lot more responsibilities even with like maintenance and things like that like it's a lot more responsibility So, as y'all can see, I have this whole vibe going on, and I think it was very important for me to create a home in my apartment because uh, being so far away from home, like five hours, and this is my new residence, I think it's easy to kind of feel like you're not where you're supposed to be or a place where it doesn't feel like home. So, I try my best to kind of put my personality into my space like um and I didn't want my space to look like anybody else's space I wanted it to be mine I didn't want it to look like a TikTok aesthetic I didn't want it to look like um something that I've always seen I wanted it to match my aura so 
that's definitely something that I tried to um, encompass and I don't know it's just it just feels right it feels like home so I transformed my space and I made it like I made it me as y'all can see those lights right there saving me some money from Amazon so when it's dark I'm not turning on the light I'm turning them lights on and this little lamp in the corner if y'all when y'all watch my furnished apartment tour y'all see that lamp in the corner that I'm obsessed with and I've wanted for years but it looks like we ran out of time I know I was probably jabbering and talking and just ranting but um I hope that y'all enjoyed this week's transparency Thursday and um yeah i just i really enjoy doing these and i hope that you guys enjoy them as much as i do but um yeah i love you all thank you all for being a part of this journey with me and i will see y'all soon bye